Ah, uh, that was a good nap. Hey there, everybody. I'm BTTL Cruiser, and welcome back to more Subnautica. Um, well, as you can see, I may have gone a little crazy building the base. Um, yeah, I may have gone a little crazy with that. Um, a lot of this stuff is not completed yet. I could make this room a lot more interesting than it is, but, you know, I built some good stuff. We've got a nice view of the kelp forest. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what I do in between episodes, and, uh, I've been running around doing stuff. We have the prawn suit now. Um, I went ahead and made the drill arms for that too, so it's gonna be useful. I also have my aquarium, uh, which I kind of have nicknamed the emergency food source, but, and we've got all sorts of fun little fish in here that I decided to put in here. Um, of course I have to have hoverfish because, frankly, they are my favorite. Um, and we've got, you know, half-finished things because I ran out of stuff. I don't, I didn't have enough diamonds to finish. This leads down to another section, which leads to that, that section, which is going to house something that I'm not ready to build yet. Uh, it's, it requires a lot more work. Um, we have charging facilities, so now we are totally green. We are running on solar power on this, on this facility. And we have a scanning room because why not? Um, so we can we can do a whole bunch of other stuff. For example, heat areas. It says there's a heat area way over here somewhere. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but just, you know, a whole bunch of useful things that are here. Um, it's got Rex. It's got stalker teeth, which is actually stalker teeth is something I'm going to probably end up using a lot. We can, of course, upgrade things, but I have no interest in doing that right now because this is just, uh, this is just our base of operations. Because, once again, we have a message to listen to. So let's go ahead and climb aboard the Cyclops again. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. And listen to that message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. So essentially that means that within the next, I want to say, day or so, we're going to get the next step of the story, which is the Sunbeam trying to touch down. And, uh... You know, it would be really nice if that was the end of it, but no, <laughs> it's not going to be nearly that simple. Um, oh, wow, I had a lot more quartz than I thought. So suffice to say, having the prawn suit makes this a lot easier, mostly because with the mining arm, arm on, you can go and mine those gigantic mineral deposits, and that just, that becomes really useful. There was a, there's a period when I was building the the base where pretty much all of these containers were completely full of stuff and uh that's you know a nice place to be and um sorry i'm madly clicking to get all of this stuff in so we don't waste too much time um but yeah we've got enough materials in that base to essentially refill this machine like once or twice there's there's a lot of stuff in there um and there's going to be more because obviously we have more to do so, that being said, as far as more to do goes, we are going to go, hmm, where do I want to go? I think we're going to go that way, <laughs> more or less. Um, let's go ahead and, oh, engines are started up. Eh, we don't have that much power, but it'll be fine. Whee! All right, so as promised, we are going to do a little bit of, a little bit of mining just because the, uh, I've got the suit, might as well use it now. And just in case we do get that next message, we will be in a perfect place to take advantage of it. So, we I kind of made the ship jump. That was interesting. Kind of a... If anyone's watched um, Red October, in one of the older... Relatively old movie now. But if you've watched that, this is kind of what that one's summary does, except it's not quite as spectacular. You're not jumping out of the water to avoid torpedoes. In this case, you're jumping out of the water because uh, the pilot is being a bit of an idiot, but that's kind of normal. <laughs> I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I tend to do some crazy things when I'm inside this ship. Hmm. 
So part of the reason why I want to get enough resources, including diamonds, um, to complete that modification station is because I need to upgrade my... I need to upgrade my diving suit. Let's slow down, because there's some things down here that don't like us. Um... To upgrade the diving suit and more importantly the uh, oxygen tank that we use because if we can get the what's it called here, let me pull let me stop here for two seconds I'll pull it out um where is it modification station ultra high capacity o2 tank now this is something that comes really in handy but you need a lot of lithium to access it. You need a lot of lithium to access a lot of the more advanced blueprints, so that's kind of what I'm aiming to do here. I might not take the submarine all the way into this next area, simply because last time I did, I kind of got swarmed by creatures, and they were not very happy to see my face. So we're probably going to take the prawn suit, and while they'll still do the same things to the prawn suit, it's not as likely to get, uh, it's a lot easier to get away and also to retaliate because the prawn suit does come with some pincers on it that really do a number on unpleasant critters. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's something way out over there. Ooh. Seriously? That peeper just essentially suicided. Arr, let go. Yes. It's nice to say you, do you really want to avoid running your giant sub... What the? You really want to avoid running your giant submarine into stuff. So Thank let's turn off the engine so nothing attacks the ship while we're gone. Actually, I think we should probably be... Yeah, I think we're about as high as I want to be. I'm going to grab some food for the road. Just because. And let's go ahead and get into this prawn suit. Actually got pretty good at that. Ooh. All right, critter, be nice to my ship. If you're not nice to my ship, I will come back and I will teach you why you want to be nice to my ship. Ugh. So yeah, we're gonna go for a nice underwater walk in the prawn suit. It's gonna be great. And I say I have the pincer arm, which allows me to, you know, pinch at things. I also have the drill, and those are going to be very useful. I heard zapping. Okay. So long as nothing's actively coming after me, I'm happy. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up. It's gold, but I will take it. Yeah, but essentially the nice thing about the prawn suit is it acts ooh, as an extension of your character. In a lot of ways because you're able to uh, while you're using it able to pick things up able to attack it's just a lot beefier and a lot um, tougher than your character is why are my why are my lights not on is it not dark enough for my lights to turn on what's going on here Ooh. oh okay I'm glad that's the shadow of a reef back because if it was the thing that I thought it was, I was in big trouble. Alright, so that's a gold ore nodule. I don't really need more, because I might have gone ham. I might have gone ham mining gold last time I was... Last time I was on uh, in between episodes, so... Ooh. How about not? How about not, guys? I will keep... It takes only like four or five swipes to actually take those guys down. Oh, but they did bite me a couple of times. That's great. Okay, why is it so dark? Did something randomly... Did something go wrong with my gamma at some point? Alright. Some lights would be nice. What was... What was that? Did I just stomp on something? Ooh, and then there's some natural lithium that I'm going to just pick up. So yeah, suffice to say... What was that? Was that that thing? Oh, jeez, that sounds nasty. 
Metal salvage, don't care. Ooh. Um, I think we've already visited Life Pod 12. Okay, hold on. Why? Is it because I don't have... I did at one point take out one of the power cells in this. That might be why. Here, let me run back really quick. Gotcha. Take that. Why not scan it before I die? They look like just evil lizard fish. That's what they look like to me. Bone sharks. Lovely. Avoid. Avoid at all costs. That's my assessment. All right, we're going to go just grab that power cell really quick. Oh, hey, look. We've got a message. I'm going to check that message once I can get the... Uh, once I can get the ship back there. Ooh, another canister. I will take that. Well, I got some food and stuff. Whoa. Okay, that was interesting. There it is. Uh, yeah, I think the reason that I don't have lights is because... Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and take that thing that was randomly trapped inside my ship. That was weird. I got a creature egg. I really have no idea what kind of creature egg that is, but okay. Oh, and I had a pop. Hmm. Was that in the capsule? Ugh. Okay. Beer beak. There we go. Now we have lights. Is there going to be a diamond? Yes. Hey, look, I can finish. <laughs> I can finish that thing at my base. Yay! It only took 35% of my suit's health. Go away. Go away, Zappy Saurus thing. Now, here's a fun little trick. If you zigzag. I think the machine actually works a little bit better and it moves a little bit faster. Either that or I just see it better, I don't know. But I'm kind of pressing W and A. And it's kind of just uh, moving a little bit less derpily. There we go. Now let's see if I can actually get in when the ship's this close to the ground. Hey! Ooh, ooh, let me in. That's fine, I'm, I'm sure it'll buff out. I'm sure that will buff out. Okay. Uh, all right, what's the message? Oh no. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board, coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance, six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Why can't we move? There we go. Now we're moving. Why are the lights off? Um, excuse me. Turn on the floodlights. I kind of need to be able to see. All right. Now, where coordinates were attached? Right? Didn't she just say that? Oh, approximate location. Mm. Oh, there were a couple of things that happened in while I was just derping around. One thing was the system asked me to scan myself, so let's just do that. I'm infected. Okay, you're not going to say anything else? Alright. 
So there seems to be something that's kind of mad around here. So we're just gonna rig for silent running and get out of here. Get some distance from these angry things that want to kill us. Oh. All right. As soon as we're away from the angry things that want to kill us, turn that off so we can see again. Perfect. Okay, well, the plan was to try and mine something, but I guess we're not going to do that. All right. Let's try diving down here, see what happens. All right, rig for sun. Now, something I found out, um, more or less by accident, if you leave the... If you leave it rigged for silent running, the ship will use so much more power. Engine. It's a little, ri little ridiculous. Um, all right. Let's go for a nice little stroll. All right, that'll be a little bit harder to... You know what? Yeah, serves you right. I'm gonna hop out for a sec. Do some repairs. <laughs> oh, I've almost got no power for the... Oh, ew, it's twitching. It's twitching! Stop it! Oh, that's creepy. All right. Oh, I see something right over there. What is that, copper? I think it's copper. All right, we're gonna go mine some copper ore because that is going to be useful from now until eternity and you can never truly have enough of it I've noticed there you go it's that simple oh and there's lithium just what we came for you know what no Yeah, you swim away, you little... What the hell am I stuck on? I'm stuck on a creature egg. I don't want to find out what that thing belongs to. There we go. Another one down. You'd think at some point the game would realize that if I've killed enough of them, they'd probably figure out not to fight me. Maybe? Just a thought. Maybe a future improvement. Alright, anything else? I'm mostly waiting to see when the next message comes in, because once the next message comes in, we've got... I think we've got something else to do. Titanium. That'll be useful. Alright, let me do something incredibly dangerous and transfer all of this into my inventory. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, most of it. Because the way the inventory on this thing works, it you can only get maybe two of these nodes before your inventory is more or less full. eventful. Okay, so one of the things I did, I have just realized, <laughs> is that I obviously don't remember how much stuff I carry on a, on a triply basis. Triply basis? On a on the basis of how often I Vital signs stabilizing. go on these resource runs. So, let's go ahead and finish emptying this. Alright, that should be plenty of lithium for a while. I'm mostly concerned about diamonds. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know, that one's supposed to be dangerous. So far, it hasn't messed with my sub. That being said, please don't mess with my sub. 
All right, I'll head slow. Let's see if there are any other resources this way. Remember that message I was talking about? Priority automated message. Aurora live pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Oh, that's comforting. Uploaded to PDA. Yeah, I know, creature attack. Thank you. Um, alright, well. We're gonna head over there really quick. 175 meters down, that's not bad. So long as there aren't any creatures. you look at that hold on let's get to a good camera it's not even fully loaded in yet come on load that is a mushroom tree all right our rescue person is down there I'm gonna just hop out let's go see what his story is Obviously not a good one, because, uh, we're being told to send a burial detail. Oh, well, at least you're not mean. Well, that doesn't look like it ended well. Just a, a data pad. Integrating new PD... Planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. The universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Well, obviously that didn't go well. Uh, note to Altera HQ. Um, th there, there was nobody. I, I could not find anything to bury. Um, hmm. Not a bad place, though. I kind of wish I built a base, base on the mushroom tree thing here. That could be fun. Here, let's let's get another look at this thing as we go by. There aren't any real resources on it by the looks of it, but it's really kind of cool. You know, I wonder if there's anything down there. Let's go. Let's go do a little bit of. Uh, Reconnaissance down there. Because obviously no one's going to be calling us from the sunbeam at this point. So we're going to just have to wait until they give us a call. Would you look at this? Ooh. Explody fish? Nope. Um, lithium. Okay, well. Don't forget where you are. Oh, I'm going to get turned around so easily. Okay, no, 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 no. I will continue to look around out here, but I'm not going inside if I can help it. Uh, just wait. Someone's eventually going to tell me, hey, there's a super, super duper secret thing inside there. Yeah, normally I'm... To be perfectly honest, normally I'm not that... I'm not brave enough to go too deep into this. Oh, hello, peeper. Come here. Fine. If you don't click on the first try... Ooh. Aerogel, or not aerogel, gel sacks. Those are gonna come in handy. While 
we're at it. Give me air. Thank you. Alright, let's just venture. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, there's a lot to this thing. Okay. Nope, nope. This is me and my self-preservation self-preservation instinct speaking. And they're saying, no, do not go inside the dark underwater cave. A regular cave, you could probably do. But a dark underwater cave, nah. Yay. I found stuff. I feel happy now. Actually, it's dark. Sleep like sleep cycle. Maybe we'll get a message in the morning. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's uh, where the where the pods? There they are. Okay. Well, let's go back this way and see if there are any resources. Wow, that just popped in all of a sudden. Now, in this biome, I don't think there usually are. But we might as well check. Yeah. Nothing large, anyway. Whoa! Have we been to this wreck before? Let's find out. You never know. Salvage operations. Maybe we've been here, maybe we haven't, but we might as well double check. Oh, looks like we haven't. Come on. Open! Well, I'll take that. We'll cut through that in a sec. Come on! Okay. Oh, while well, this was open. Great. Okay. Um, propulsion can. Propulsion guns. Okay. What's through here? There is nothing through here. It's just a trap meant to try and murder me. I see. I see what you're doing, game. Cut open the door. Out of the way. Oh, hey, look. Remember that message I was talking about? I think we may have just gotten it. Um. There's a chair, there's a desk, and there's nothing in there. That was a waste of battery power. All right, let's find out what this message is. Welcome up. Maybe end Captain. on whatever it says. All systems online. Playing partially translated broadcast. Ooh. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing. Subject locations with other agents. Okay, <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't make you worried, Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, then you are a much less easily disturbed person. Oh, look, another piece of wreckage. Hey, all right. Well, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, what I will do is I will call, oh jeez, I'm hitting literally every fish. Ugh. And then there are the evil bone shark things that I don't like because they're mean, because they attack literally everything. Oh, well, there's Life Pod 3. Hi, Life Pod 3. Nice seeing ya. It's been a while. Through the kelp forest. 
So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it more or less here. And um, as soon as we get that next message, we are going to start up and continue the storyline. Well, just as I was about to uh, finish the recording, uh, this is me another day coming back, uh, I noticed that I have that little option up in the upper right there, meaning that I have a message to listen to. Um, I haven't listened to it yet because I have no idea what the message is, but if it is the one I'm thinking of, it happened to just in time. So, uh, forgive me for any random cutting back and forth that ends up happening in this in this video. It's just, it's kind of how Subnautica is sometimes. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Engine. Cross Power. your fingers, the Power. weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. All right. So yeah, we now have a place to go. So let's turn this boat around and head over there. So that's the mission. That's the uh, message I've been waiting for. I've been hanging around in that area for quite a while, but uh, mostly because I was hoping it would happen. But, you know, here we go. An hour or so after, <laughs> an hour or so after, we are heading over to that spot. Um, I think I'll go around. I think I'll go and hit it from the east side, I think. It's a little bit longer, but, you know, as you can see, we've got 39 minutes. It'll be plenty of time. Um, and, you know, I might do a little bit of cutting back and forth again, but we'll see. This might be an extra long episode. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, this is, uh, you're essentially seeing me now at the beginning of a second recording session because I didn't really feel comfortable putting up what I had for, uh, the first half of this video as its own thing. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. We'll see. This might be just especially long for a change, and it's not going to be, this is not going to be the normal length of a video. And... As I mentioned, you're not normally going to see me do as much cutting of material as I have been. I usually try to... Oh, we've got another message? What? Hang on, what? What's this other message? You're not going to see me doing, you know, cuts like I'm doing. I usually try to speed things up. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Obviously things didn't go well. Well, that looks, uh... Comforting. It's low. That's interesting. We've got a big piece of rock. And some sort of structure. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. I'm really not wondering what that could be. I know exactly what it is, but still. Now, the reason I'm going slower is because our friend, the Reaper Leviathan, likes hanging around in this area, too. So I'm kind of being cautious. Being very cautious. Because I've never had to encounter that with this submarine, but I know it can get messy. And I don't particularly like the idea of things getting messy with my nice, big, beautiful submarine. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Alright, let's shut down that engine so we engine don't attract anything. Alright, we've got about 35 minutes to explore this thing. We've got mining outside, so I might go do that really quick. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ugh. All right. Now let's find out what there is here. Is that silver? Oh, there's life pod too. We might have to go check that out at some point. Silver ore. You know, I think I've got a full... What was that? Is that what I think it is? A warper? I don't like warpers. They're not nice. Um, you know what? Let me run inside really quick, because I'm not sure how much... Uh silver I actually have on board the Cyclops. Silver, silver, silver. 
Oh yeah, we've we we've got plenty. I don't need to go out and get silver. If I find magnetite, however, so I think that's something we can find out here. Oh, it's getting dark. If I can find magnetite, that's gonna be useful. All right. Fun fact, you can lock this around on the ground too. On the surface, it comes really handy. Nuclear reactor fragment, ugh. Last time I was on, um, you know, while I was just farming stuff, I found uh, uranite, which is essentially a material containing uranium, which is great. Um, and it'll be, ooh, don't fall off that. Yeah, I can barely see, but I know that leads into the abyss, so I'm not going to go there. But yeah, I found some uranite, which is uh, really quite useful. What's this? Gel sack. Uh, don't mind if I do. Anyway, yes, as promised at the beginning of the series, I left this uh, more or less until, you know, when the Sunbeam was going to land, because, you know, that's storyline-wise, that's when we were supposed to be here, so I decided not to rush ahead. That is the sound of a reaper. Okay, well, we are probably very lucky that we're not in the water right now. Alright, I'm going to need to find another tablet. Actually, I think I've still got one on the ship, so I might go grab that one. I think there's another one lying around somewhere here. Alien, nat alien nature, powers routed to some sort of force field. Alright. Uh, just because it's so freaking dark, I might... I might just go and sleep away the night. So we don't have to... So you don't have to watch, you know, me just wandering around doing crazy sh crazy stuff all the time. You're just hoping the warper doesn't decide to teleport me right out of my big sub, though. Good night, world. Alright, just like that. We managed to burn another five minutes. Okay. Whoever's out there who's banging against my ship, stop it. You are not welcome. Stop hitting my ship. Do you know how expensive this thing is? How much effort I had to go through to make it? No. Who's doing that? A peeper. Of course. Only peepers would cause me issues. Uh, nice thing is, we've got plenty of these, uh, what are they, bulbo trees or something like that? Got plenty of these, so we've got food and water sources. I'm probably gonna walk around in the prawn suit for a little while just because it extends my inventory. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, uh, let me just say. This thing sounds really cool as you're walking around. Alright, there is a little bit of frame dropping. Um, I think that's mostly the game. Can I climb up that? Very, very, very slowly. Nope. Oh, hey, look! We have an artifact! Give me the artifact, thank you. Oh, jeez, what is with the frames? Obviously, it's been a while since I've been to this particular location, but uh, I don't remember it being quite this framey. Alright, are these things gonna... Yeah, they are, even when I'm in the prawn suit. At least it only takes one swipe with my giant robot arms. All right, that leads to a cliff. And I go under the water over here. That's the sound of a warper. Ooh, diamond. I will take that. Seeing as I went through my entire diamond supply last time. Surprised I'm... 
Okay, well, I'm hearing warpers. I'm not hearing the reaper. Um, but warpers are bad enough. All right, come on, prawn suit. Let's go up here. Oh, I love this thing. This thing's so good. I love all of my vehicles in this game. Okay. Bye. Adios, amigo. There we go. Just saying. I'm exterminating those with extreme prejudice because Milo Nike. Hmm. I missed. At least I get to walk through here with light. That's something. Nope. That is nothing. Can I fit? Nope. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did I just get my suit stuck? Okay, it's getting me out. Right, please. There we go. Well, at least they managed to include that. Okay, maybe I won't walk around in here in the prawn suit. But I like the fact that it gives me light. Uh. Well, here's some more of the native creatures. Pick up some lithium. It's nice to know that these little buggers can't really cause me any trouble. Ooh, another tablet. I think I'll need that. I don't know what tells me I'll need that. Maybe it's just intuition. All right, I should be able to fit through here. Yes. Now the best part, if I need to jump down, I can jump down in this thing. It will not care. Salt deposits. I don't really think I care about salt. Oh, there's nothing there. Nope, can't get through there. What's through here? Probably just another part of the area I was just in. Yeah, more or less. All right, and look at that. We're back here. Yay. Oh, and look, there's another message. Well, this has just been a lot of me derping around in the prawn suit because the prawn suit makes me feel cool. Back into the water we go. Murder the vicious bitey fishes. Okay, they ran away. Yeah, they're relative they're rather smart for murderous vicious murderous vicious bitey fishes. Just saying. Uh this you know. Moments like this, when I've got, you know, all of the vehicles, make me really wonder what multiplayer in this game would be like. If they ever decided to do that. Yeah. Have they ever decided to? I need to double check that. Because that would be really cool if that's something they wanted to do. Alright, I'm just going to walk along here really quick, see if there's any blueprints available. For example, what's this? Nuclear reactor, I will take that. Because I suspect once I get deeper into the, uh, deeper into the depths, that makes a lot of sense. Um, once I get a little deeper, I will be really interested in using nuclear power because, I mean, I could use the thermal power, but that only does so much. Nuclear gives you a whole bunch of power all at once. I will take that. I really wish there was a way to look up what my tab is as I continue to, you know, break stuff open and uh, use it for my survival. Because the thing that we've... The thing that they've established with the uh, story so far is that you owe... Pretty much everything that you're collecting, you are going to owe to the company when you get back. So, uh, you know, it's an interesting idea 
Ooh, there's a cave here. Do I, I, I don't think I want to go into the cave yet. You know what? Let's go into the cave. Interesting, at least it's linear. Never mind. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not brave enough. I'm not brave enough. If I want to go down here, I will bring the prawn suit, but I think... Hmm. My suspicion is that if I bring the prawn suit down here, I'm going to want the grappling arm, which is a really, really nifty uh, upgrade you can put to it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see supplies. What is this thing? What is this? It is a propulsion cannon. Nope, don't need that. All right. I don't hear the screams of the damned. That's a good sign. Um, I do see bone sharks, which is not something I'm happy to see. And this is, it's a lead deposit, okay. Oop, 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 oop. Nuclear reactor, I can make it now. Almost. Awesome. I wonder, let me get back to the prawn suit really quick and I'll find out what it takes to make that. Because the nuclear reactor, I think, was relatively expensive to run and also make. So I'm kind of kind of curious how viable that's going to be. Let's see. Nuclear reactor. Where are you? In theory, I could just pull out my little handy-dandy builder tool, but I don't think I will. Mm hmm. Thermal plant, power transmitter. Come on. There we go. Nuclear reactor. Lead, plasteel, and an advanced wiring kit. That's not bad. I think the main thing, the main problem is going to be making sure that you have the uranium. We'll see. We'll see. At some point, I will probably make it just because, I mean, we're also playing Fallout. Might as well have uh, nuclear power in this as well. It's just in this, we have slightly better computer technology, too. All right, come on. Come on. Climb. Or in this case, fly. I will take flying. Oh. And that is the sound of Space Cat in the background. I heard him in my headphones for a sec. There he is. Space Cat says hi, everybody. All right. So it's getting dark. It's at, it's like six something. I'm gonna go ahead and head inside the alien facility. Let's go ahead and open the storage on this thing. Pull those guys out. Let's run inside. At least inside, it's relatively well lit. I'm stuck on something. Take the tablet. Yoink. How oh, lovely. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Interesting. And this is, once again, another example of just how crazy advanced this AI must be if it's able to... It exists on a tablet and it's able to do all of this analysis and all of this translation of, any, of an alien language it's never seen before. Or at least, I assume it's never seen before. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Um, okay. Alien facility, not possible to translate any further useful information. Solid state computer. Hmm, interesting. Very curious. Let's continue into the dark depths of this strange alien facility. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Excellent. Then we shall do that. Ooh. Let us scan the ion cube. Green mineral substance has no entry in periodic table. Likely grown artificially. 
valuable energy source. Yoink. The fact that the character is able to just, you know, toss it up in the air and move it around like that, it's gotta be light, if you think about it. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Maybe it's both? Ooh. Yoink. Just saying, those ion cubes are gonna be really worth it. Yoink. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. So now we know what this thing is made of. It's made of some crazy material. It's getting power. It's got a funny layout. And it's controlled from downstairs. So we're going to try and control it. Whee! Now this is a really cool way of getting places. Just saying. Nice. Force field control. And look, we've got a moon pole. Running, 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 running. Okay, let's see. Whoa. I always get random hitches when I'm in this area. Alien rifle? Ooh, can I has? I think this is a reference to one of their other games, come to think of it. Um, was it Alien Swarm or something like that? Or I'm trying to remember who and what other game they ended up make making. So I think this is a reference to that. Gimme. I would like to be able to defend myself against the alien menace. Ooh. Going. All right, let's go up here. Another tablet, I will take that. Oh well. Oh, this thing's interesting. The alien device. It's a doomsday device, ooh. Enough potential energy to destroy an entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. So obviously it doesn't like me. Um, it's kind of hostile, which already makes me very concerned about this facility itself. Am I going the right way? There's that other room down there. The facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Take the tablet. Hmm, lovely. This looks cool. All nice and shiny and green. Ooh. All right, press the big button. This can't go wrong. Oh, this is great. Get out of my face. No, ouch. That wasn't nice. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. That is a serious quarantine. I mean, oh. Okay, so we definitely know that this is a weapon now. Translating background Ooh. broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Ooh. Well, no spoilers here. I think. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is going to be useful. Okay. That gives us an idea where we need to go next. Okay. Um, that being said, not much of a spoiler at this point. I think the sunbeam isn't very long for this universe. I think it's about to get disintegrated in, and uh, blown into the next universe. Just a, just a suspicion of mine. Okay, I'm leaving that thing alone. Run, character, run! Oop. 
All right, there's one door down here that we didn't quite get to look at. Ah, yes. An alien arch. What is this, I wonder? Ceremonial, religious, industrial applications, advanced transport network, further research required. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. I know, pretty much everyone probably knows what this thing is at this point. All right, let's head back to the surface, shall we? Enough all elevators with that fun. That would be great. Alrighty. I already got that. Whee! So I wonder about the ion cubes. I wonder if they respawn. I'm gonna have to come back here in a couple of game days and uh, see if there are new ones because it mentioned that they were artificially created. That would be a useful thing to just come back and uh, get for upgrades, because I know, I know you can use them to upgrade stuff. But I think, I think you also use them to make, make the tablets, I think. Joke's on them, I've still got two of them, but still. Alright, T-minus seven minutes. I might still go swimming around, see if I can find some, uh extra useful minerals, because I know there's magnetite around here. Calorie intake recommended. You know what? I could eat this, but then again, I'd rather have this stuff. Seek fluid yum, yum, intake. yum. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. All right. Let's go see if there's anything anything really useful, because I know magnetites around here. Just want to keep an eye out and ear out for the various things that want to eat me. Because there are a lot of them. Oh, speaking of which, nope, 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 nope. Go away. I don't want it. No. No. Okay, stop doing that. That is freaking me out. It's freaking me out and it's not very nice. All right. So far, I'm not seeing any magnetite. It's got a really distinctive funny shape. It's kind of got a diamond shape to it. Ooh, what's this? Ah, it's lithium. All right, I'll take lithium anyway. And I'll take a diamond. Ooh, what's this? Lithium. Where do we find magnetite? These dot. Ah, there it is. Ah, mm. I don't like this fish. I don't like this fish. I don't like that thing. Ooh, Ooh there's another one of those arches. Interesting. I wonder what we're going to use that for. Suffice to say, this is a great place to uh, get a bunch of high-end raw materials. You just have to watch out for all the various things that want to, you know, nibble on you. Because there are a lot of them. And I keep hearing the warper, and it's really kind of freaking me out. Ah, there you are. Hello, buddy. Just don't mind me. My scanner popped up with something a second ago. Guess not. I'm mostly just whiling away the time waiting for... Ah, urinite. Waiting for the sunbeam to arrive. Because um, at about a minute, 
I'm gonna head back. I hear those nasty little piranha fish. I am not happy about it. But I do hear them. You know, I probably shouldn't be wanting to hear the, uh, the Reaper Leviathan. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, it tried to teleport me, that little, little jerk. Oh, there's another one. There are a lot of them around here, and they do not seem to like my face. Well, that was fun. How much stuff did I pick up? Oh, a full inventory. Not that much. Let's eat that. Okay. Um, let's head up here and go the other direction, I guess, for a little bit. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, maybe we should just drop. Maybe I should just... Wow, the frames are crazy around here. Okay. Let's just drop a whole bunch of this valuable stuff off in the in the big suit. Leave another purple tablet in there. I leave. Oh, never mind, it's full. Okie dokie. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, thank you. Come to think of it, I am probably the highest ranking person left on the planet. So yes, you should most assuredly call me Whoa. I did not mean to do a 180. Oh, I'd really like to know why the frames are so bad here. Oh, that's adorable. It it kneels down. It sits. It sits and waits for me. That's that's really kind of cute. Not that it's easy to call something, you know, gigantic that probably weighs a couple of tons cute, but still. Come on. Get me inside. There we go. Alright. We'll do inventory management next time. Oh, hang on. There's a message? There's a message. Hold on. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed. Unaccounted for one. Okay. I'm gonna step out on a limb here. I think that's talking about what happened to the people in Life Pod 2. Because Life Pod 2 is down there. We've been seeing warpers all over the place around here. Which means they're close enough, they could have affected what happened down there. So I think the warpers got them. Which is great. It's wonderful. It definitely confirms the fact that Warpers are not our friend. Ugh. And guess who that unaccounted for person is? Hmm. I wonder who that is. Maybe it's me. Hi, Peeper. How you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fine. <sighs> Ooh. That's not good. That's not good at all. That thing moves pretty quick for being so big. Uh-oh. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? No. What do you mean you can't identify it? Don't approach. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Don't. Down no, 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 no. Nine. Eight. Mm. See a little white spot? It's coming from the building. Oh, shit. Change course. Set thrusters to full.
I'm sure they're fine. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. Or not. Hmm. Well, great. There goes our ride. Are you going to put yourself away? Yep. Lovely. A giant alien cannon. Don't mind me. I'm just going to take a picture of that. Because that is utterly horrifying. All right. Well, as the person in this situation, I'm not very happy about my chances of survival now. Because now I find out that I'm infected. Ugh. Let's see if Suit Siri has anything to say about this. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Great. So that thing's not going to turn off until we are free of whatever this uh, bacteria is. And it's probably going to kill us if we're not careful. Great. Wonderful. Makes my character incredibly happy for everything that's happening right now. Let's get away from this island. It's not my favorite place anymore. I don't like it. Nope. Okay, I swear, fish, stop running into my ship. That is not a good idea. You had plenty of warning to get away from it. Okay, so that's pretty much the encounter that I had uh, planned. Um, we will come back with the Seamoth next time. Next time we're going to do, I think, a lot of uh, running around in the Seamoth. Just um, doing a couple of bits and pieces of exploring, because we've got one... Um, base that I can think of that needs to be explored in the cave system with uh, those strange looking snake things that that one guy described. That's going to be fun. Um, we also have Life Pod 2, which we need to go investigate. So we are going to do that next time. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Beach Teal Cruiser. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that bell, and uh, please subscribe. And we will, uh, I'll keep coming back with more fun stuff from the Subnautica universe and Fallout and everything else that I end up doing. And of course, hang around for that last video at the end of every series where we talk in depth about the storytelling that's going on. So thanks again for watching everyone. This is Cruiser signing off for now. Later.